Eric here, first thing first, you know, a lot of people wonder, you know, in terms of your talent and your potential, was it always track and field growing up or you played other sports as well growing up on the island? Um, when we did the agave, we used to play ball, football. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so track and field wasn't wasn't something where we did decide to do. But my parents said they do track and field. My mother used to do track and field, but she did have me at an early age, so she did end up stop. But my father used to play football, so, you know, tag along as a boy picking me up. Mm -hmm. Not sure if the internet's my end or your end. Might be the internet my end. Maybe it's my internet. Maybe just I'll wait till the thing kind of ease up. Hmm. All right, so tell me if you can hear me, because the internet kind of froze a minute ago. Okay, I hear you now, yeah, man. I am moved to me, can I see it? All right, cool. All right, so when was it that you put all your, your, your focus into track and field? Was it was it KC, or was it a little before KC? Um, when we did the Gavi, then, you know, like, we did start realizing I used to skip class a lot and stuff like that. And then, when I realized, I'm going to say, I didn't want to become something in my life because, you know, I grew up in a kind of like the country where we kind of poor, you know, them way they like, you know, really have opportunity and really have money. So then when I look upon it, I'm going to look upon football and then, you know, you know, Jamaican system kind of stay with football. I'm going to look upon it and say, oh, I'm going to have like, you no, know, no grandfather we used to do this in a football. So it, it is kind of hard to get the, you know, the spotlight and all of that stuff. So I did, you know, did one day I did practice, you know, I usually go track and field practice, but never used to take it serious because sports day and them thing, they used to shut up sports day. Was probably like the best in other, you know, sports day, primary school, and all that stuff. But track and field was not not someone with the tech serious. And then, but did a Gavi and we say, I'm going to join the track team. And we go there one day, but it gets sore from one practice. And then we just not show up back again. Then, but it start go every, you know, more than one time out of the week. We start go around three times a week until one day this um PE teacher lady that was there and would have do some, would have jump over some desk. And she looked at me and she said, boy, you know, say you have ups or whatever. And I said, how many I talk about and thing. And she bring me go to the pit and I go try a little thing. And, you know, it is decent at the time, you know, if you jump around like 6, 630 and them they kind of like, you know, like a little bit of distance, some of them are trained. So she did kind of introduce me to long jump. And then from there, me did, me did make the first champs team because I never make champs before. And me did make champs and me did actually make the final, but me never did make it in the top eight. Me did advance, but finished about 12 hours or something like that the first year going to champs and then I kind of say yo you know so I actually can't take it seriously but did actually take it serious and then we have a friend who did leave Garvey we got KC and then we say yo you can stick the link or whatever we get a you know get a contact as a countryman you know you just need somebody where in that environment for kind of help you know put in a word or two for you so it really started when I realized that track and, track and field was the only option of me being overseas, you know, going overseas. Yeah, country person was probably one of the best things for any country people. So that's where it really, my motivation really come from, from just, you know, come from the country and I say, I'm more on the overseas and more mix up myself. Mm -hmm. you've, you've represented your country. You've also, you know, competed collegiately as well. But what about at champs, the atmosphere and everything being at champs? What was champ like for you as an athlete? Champs to me, the first time I got champs, I did nervous. So till me did so nervous, I never compete at my best. That's that come from not having confidence. You know, it's just you see when you not have like a, a real team where we're big, like you go Casey, you know, you can't be you can't be a little kid out there. When you go Casey, your confidence up. So that was the booster. So we can definitely say going to the champs was like a, the biggest booster for confidence wise. It put you up on the, the 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 stage where you know say for sure you can compete anyway. You have support around you. So but I said for me, champs was probably the best, best moment. Somebody actually happy me to at least get the chance to compete at champs because if we never get to compete at champs, more the thing would I have this confidence as well I have now or you know, just feel feel good about myself at all time, regardless, even though you know the sports come with upside down, ups and downs. We can say going through champs definitely. Sure, I'm say, yo, I'm ready for the world. 
Yeah, so, you know, competing collegiately, did chumps help you in any way for, for life in college as an athlete? Not so more in the classroom. Yes, you can use chumps a little bit about in the classroom because if you never have the grades in the classroom, you can't compete at chumps, which is the kind of the same here in um, college. If your grades are, if you're slacking in your grades, then you can't you can compete. That's a point blank period. Even if you fail a class and you go to championship, the governing body like the NCA board literally will pull you from the event. Just like champs, ISA was the same thing. So, you know, your grades, you kind of have to have the same mentality from champs to here where, you know, you have to stay focused, do your schoolwork because, you know, we are student here. In college, you're a student first and athletes after. In Jamaica, we did just think so we're athletes and then student after. So it kind of flipped back and forth, but, for sure, champs definitely prepare you for, for college because, you know, you have to pass your class in order to compete at champs. Here, you have to pass your classes for compete at NCA. So it's pretty much the same system, just have a higher name, if that makes sense. Yeah, you went to Casey, and as you know, in recent times, yourself, you have Wayne Pinnock, Jaden Hibbert, Clive Pullen. What was the secret to Casey producing so much great jumpers, especially recently, starting with you and others around you? I don't more to say more just recently, but it it been there, but most people just never really pay attention, you know, because not many people pay attention to field events. So, you know, field events, even though it are going, people not really, you know, like it not make no loud noise because at the time they have Usain Bolt at the great. So nobody didn't really care about jumps like that. You get what I say? So all of the attention was shining into one area as opposed to shine on every event in the sport. So we can definitely say Mr. Jeremy Dillis is probably one of the best coach in other country, in my opinion, and around the world, he's the best, one of the best high school coach. And up to still day, if him, you know, if him for coach like somebody as old as me, I think him still have to have the success with him have. So but I definitely say Mr. Jeremy Delisa is is probably one of the best coach I've come across. If somebody were to ask you what you prefer, whether it's a long or triple jump, what would you tell them? <laughs> that's a that's a tough, tough question. I've been asked that question many times. And it's kind of hard for um to decide which one. Long jump was too easy. I never really prefer long jump. Triple jump is more challenging. And, you know, it has its demands. And I kind of like challenges, you know, and be anything too easy for you. You know, it's not like a challenge. You're not going to reach your full potential. So would I definitely say both. It's hard for, you know, differentiate between both. But triple jump is more of a background work if you master triple jump background work then it set up your long jump even perfect so but right now i'm kind of more like a focus on long jump than triple jump so but i say you now the preference is long jump all right and i mean you know for you personally and you know the, the passage that you're seeing you spoke about you know a lot of attention was on the track now you look at the quality of jumpers that we have right now are you optimistic about the future of jumping and field events for jamaica moving forward yes for sure you know you know back in the days jumps always you know like been something where you know like they check like the jamaica national records them and stuff like that you can tell so the jumps was up there but guess what it never get the you know the full attention which it needed so i think that kind of what why a lot of people stray away from doing field events and switch to sprints because even if they can't sprint Back in the days, you say, yo, I'm a sprinter, you know, because you know, say, you know, them not care about jumping, jumpers not getting attention. So it was just more of an attention thing where we actually get now that we get the breakthrough and, you know, shout out to Tajay Gale, really, why people, you know, like start look back on long jump. And then after last year, we kind of start, you know, do well, people start realize, say, yo, Jamaica actually have something good going on. So, but I definitely say the attention start turn over to jumps now when they realize, say, the sprints not as hot as the jumps because, you know, the big guy, the, you know, shout outs to Usain and stuff, you know, him not in the spotlight. So, you know, nobody not really talk about sprints like that because, you know, his name was such a big household name. And now you look at jumps, you now you have, you have so many people you can choose, uh, choose from, you don't know which one are going to be the best because you have so much good at least. But when you look at the sprints you now, you are like, maybe the person here, maybe the person here, but like jumps, you know, you can listen out a steady tree where you can say, yo, that's medal contingent, you know, like you're within that, you know, that you're within that area and field. So, but I can definitely say the attention to jumps it here now for real. And it's not going to wait out still. 
And I'm sure with champs around the corner, you'll be tuning in as much as you can to see the point standings and how the men in purple and white are doing as well. For sure. <laughs> And finally, for you as well, Kiri, your 2023, what are some of the goals that you have for this calendar year, 2023, things that you hope to achieve for 2023? Um, 2023, I tell myself after last year that, you know, just to be better than what I've ever been, you know, just reach to the levels that I've never been to before. Been to the Olympics before, never won a medal. So the goal coming up, you know, that's in 2024, the goal is still the same but just a little bit more to it than just, you know, the first time, you know, it's just experience. So you're kind of happy you met the team, regardless of what you do, but no, the aim is get medals. Every team medal, regardless of the team, is is just medal in you know, my 2023. So, you know, and just stay healthy and just, you know, represent Jamaica to the best of my ability and stuff like that. So the goal for the year is just, you know, remain healthy and keep producing good marks and stuff like that. Because, you know, at the end of my um, college and career, so after college and career, then we are looking at the professional world. So, you know, within the professional world, you kind of, a, you know, still be on top of your game. So definitely looking forward to to finishing up the year strong and, you know, see where it takes me. Yeah. And as you know, this year you have CAC Games, Panam Games, World Champs. So there's a lot of opportunities, you know, for medals and store. Well, yep. Yeah, thanks very much, Kerry. Really, really appreciate it. You know, all the best to you and we'll be in touch for sure. Yeah, man. Respect. Anytime. All right. Take it. All right. You too.